Construction Service has given lightning fast approval to the CNMI's request for emergency food assistance in the wake of Typhoon Sotolor. PNC's Washington correspondent Matt Kay reports. The Commonwealth government requested emergency food assistance from USDA's Food and Nutrition Service on the evening of August 9th. Less than 48 hours later, on August 11th, FNS approved an emergency food assistance program for all residents of Saipan, regardless of their nationality. It was the second time since Typhoon Sutalor that the federal government has responded with unprecedented swiftness to the disaster, whose toll will easily top $20 million. President Obama declared Saipan a federal disaster area last week, just about 30 hours after acting Governor Ralph Torres requested the declaration, an almost unheard of response time to a natural disaster. NMI officials again worked hand in glove with Congressman Greg Khalili Sablon to push the latest request for help. Sablon's office says it received a copy of the food assistance request on the evening of the 10th and worked all day Tuesday trying to get a decision on the 11th. They did, and the CNMI was given the go-ahead to start issuing replacement, supplemental, and non-participant food stamp benefits immediately and to complete the job no later than August 31st. The Commonwealth's Nutrition Assistance Office asked for six million in assistance, but FNS officials were not available for comment on the amount approved in time for this report. Zablon's office, though, says FNS has approved an initial one million dollars and says it will allow the NMI to spend as needed remaining funds available in the NMI's food stamp block grant, some 3.8 million. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for PNC News.